How are we doing today? My name's Acid X Bear, Acid Bear, or Honey Badger. Actual is one of the three names I go by. I'm basically going to teach you today how to use Six Up Theater and Steam to basically get the the mods running to where you can join just about any server. So, step one is going to be install Arma 2. Once you install Arma 2, as you can see here, it's already installed, play it. Then, the next step is going to be install Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Once you install that and it's squared away, launch the game as well. Once you launch that game, you'll have basically the two most essential files to run combined operations. Now, if you have British Armed Forces and Private Military Company, you're going to want to run those respectively as well, so that way everything is loaded properly and there's no errors. If you get a DSL sound error or whatever that, that error might be, or your game crashes, do a Google search, you'll find the error problem, you'll find how to fix it. Basically, you delete it and verify the integrity of the game cache file. Now, the next thing's going to be, uh, you're going to want 6updater, okay? And you're also going to want to make sure that you have TeamSpeak installed as well. Once you have TeamSpeak 3 installed, you're going to want to launch 6updater. And let's say you're going to join the 15th Marine Expeditionary Unit Special Operations Capable Recruiting Server. Now, it's going to take about a minute or so to, to launch 6updater, depending on your computer. For me, it takes about 45 seconds tops, um, depending on what I'm running in the background. So as we wait to load that up, um, be advised that there are a lot of great mods like Daisy. Daisy, you're better off getting the the files from DaisyMod.com uh, itself um, and installing them manually. And they'll show you how. There's a tutorial video on how to do that exactly. Um, as far as for ACE files and Acre files and CBA files and all those other files go, this is probably the best way to do it is using 6updater. 6updater has been streamlined for for your user benefit to make it easier on you. So here we go. You'll see that I'm at home, right? And I went ahead and already typed in in the server browser. It automatically starts up for me at server browser. You want to go there. Um, and I, I typed in 15th mu, okay, or 15, and it brings up the 15, all the 15 servers, okay? So that's 15th Acorn, 15th Mew, 15th Gambler, uh, 15th Blue Angels Flight Team, yada yada yada. Now this is the 15th Mew's recruiting server. This is their popular server. This is where they get their numbers from and this is where they kind of go to do things. You're going to want to right click on that server and you're going to want to hit install, update, and process BI keys. This is going to be the best way for you to update the modifications that the server has. It's going to be the best way for you to realize that everything is squared away. And it's going to, to, to basically take its time and, and upload everything or download everything to your computer and make sure everything is squared away. As you can see, everything on my end has already been installed. And you'll get the uh, confirmation for Acre. Acre is basically a, a real-time communication mod that the, that the U.S. military actually uses. It'll give you the, the proper beeps, the proper sounds, and, and the proper way to use a radio in-country. Basically, if you're within 15 meters of somebody, you can hear them if they're talking locally, and they'll have to net through the traffic if they're, if they're beyond that. Um, and it, it, that, That's not an accurate basis, but that's basically my understanding of it, and I'm trying to give it simple to you. Um, so you definitely you're going to want to hit yes, okay? So it'll basically install the plugins for you, which it used to not do. Now all the plug plugins are there for you to use, whether you're on 32 or 64-bit operating system. Okay, so you can see that I'm all green light, everything's been skipped, everything's ready, everything's squared away, good to go, okay? So now basically what you're going to want to do is, if you watch my mouse cursor, you're going to want to go back to server browser, okay? Hit 1.5 again. And you're gonna wanna, and even though it says bad and none or whatever, you're gonna wanna hit right click on that on that server and come down to join server. You can launch the game as well if you'd like to, but I I'd, I'd highly suggest just joining the server. It's easier that way. It skips the splash screen. You're automatically loaded into the server. Once you're loaded in, you're gonna be on the server, be able to select your role and get in game a lot faster. That's basically it. If there's any questions, comments, or concerns, please keep them, you know, constructive. And I will give the links to 6updater as well as Steam and TeamSpeak. And that's just really about all I have to offer for you right now. 
If you have any questions, again, please feel free to ask. Thank you very much, and comment, rate, and subscribe.